Parman will love you. Uh, now I'm going to present you a counter, uh, which is a 4-bit binary counter. Uh, this is our digital logic design project. So it's a 4-bit binary counter, which can count in binary 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. In decimal, it can count uh, 0 to 15. So the uh, equipment we are using in this project is uh, 7474 IC, which is a deep flip lock, one uh, 555 timer, 100 microfarad capacitor, a regulator, many resistors, 5 LED, 9 volt battery, uh, a battery connector. Now my group member Farhan MD Koshi gonna uh, discuss about the theory parts. Assalamu alaikum sir, good afternoon. This particular video is all about our DLD project. The topic of our project is deep flip flop. <coughs> Four bit counter is in deep flip flop. Now I would like to say something about flip flop. A flip flop is a circuit that has two states and can be used to store state information. The circuit can be made to change the state by signals and apply to one or more control. Inputs and will have two outputs. A flip flop is a device which stores a single bit. Basically, single bit means a binary binary digit in a data. One of these two digit states represents a one, and the other represents a zero. Now, I would like to say something about deep flip flop. The deep flip flop is widely used. It is also known as a data or delay flip flop. The deep flip flop captures the value of the D input and a definite portion of the clock cycle, such as the rising age of the clock. The captured value becomes a Q output at other times, the Q output doesn't change. Mostly people have the ICs in the, have the capability to be forced state or reset state, which ignores the D and clock output, much like an SR3 clock. Usually the illegal SR is equal to 1, the condition is resolved in D3 clock by setting SR is equal to 0. That's all for the time being, thanks for having patience. Hello viewers, my name is uh, Khan Amdi Faldir uh, Now I am discussing about counter. Uh, what is counter? A counter circuit is usually constructed uh, of a number of flip flops uh, connected in casket. And then uh, nowadays uh, counters, uh, counter circuit is usually uh, widely used in digital lo logic circuit. Now I am discussing about the circuit diagram. So here is the 555 timer, uh, which is giving the clock of uh, first D flip flop. Then the inverted output Q bar going to the input of the same flip flop and also going uh, to the first LED. And the other output Q naught gives the clock of second flip flop. Then the second flip flop inverted output Q one bar is going to the input of the same flip flop uh, and also going to the second LED then the third and fourth D flip flops working the same way so here is uh, the pin configuration of 555 timer and uh, 7474 IC which is the D flip flop uh, so uh, we are showing you from our slide so uh, here the 555 timer third pin is output is output and the fourth pin is reset and first pin is ground the eighth pin is the VCC so where the third pin of 7474 IC is the first clock then the sixth pin is the inverted output the fifth pin is the uh, other output 7 pin, 7 pin is the ground the second pin is the input the 14 pin is the VCC a counter system does not require any input rather than a clock input when the clock change from 0 to 1 the counter increment the current value by 1 so if the current value of the counter is 0, 0, 1, 1, in a clock change the counter will add 1 and the value will change from 0, 0, 1, 1 to 0, 1, 0, 0. So uh, by doing this 
our counter can count from 0 to 15 in binary 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1, 1. So here is our timing diagram when clock pulse change uh, 0 to 1 then output of Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3 uh, remaining 0 and output yeah, and total output shows 0, 0, 0, 0. When the second clock pulse uh, change in 0 to 1 then uh, then Q0 is remaining uh, Q0 is become high uh, which means 1 then uh, other remaining 0 when uh, when the third time clock pulse changes 0 to 1 and then uh, Q0 become low means uh, 0 and Q0 uh, Q1 1 and Q2 Q3 uh, remaining 0 then output shows and total output shows uh, 0 0 1 0 when the fourth time clock pulse changes 0 to 1 then uh, q0 1 means high position and q1 is high position then q2 and q3 is low position means 0 and, uh, and total output shows 0 0 1 1 then when the 16 time clock pulse changes 0 to 1 then q0 q1 q2 and Q3 became high. Total output shows 1, 1, 1, 1. Uh, then the whole circuit reset and it's continue counting. So now I'm gonna show you guys how our uh, counter works. So if I connect the 9 volt battery, so I connect uh, our 9 volt battery with regulator uh, which convert the uh, VCC into uh, 5 volt so here is uh, here is our ground and common ground and here is our common VCC and I connect with uh, these two also so here is the 555 timer which gives the clock of our first uh, flip flop here uh, the third uh, third pin of our first uh, flip flop. So the uh, the uh, six uh, the six pin is the is our uh, Q bar, which is the inverted output, and uh, which goes to our first LED, and the uh, Q, which is the uh, fifth pin, and here is the fifth pin, which has the fifth pin uh, a brown where goes to the uh, uh, the clock of our uh, second flip flop then so here is the our uh, first flip flop and here, here is the our second flip flop then it uh, it gives the clock of our third third flip flop then uh, it gives the clock of our fourth flip flop and the uh, uh, second led output uh, comes from here the six uh, pin of our second flip flop and it goes to here then the uh, third uh, LED output uh, is uh, coming from here the third flip flop as and the fourth flip flop comes over here so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Then it's gonna reset 0, 1, 2, 3. First of all, thank you, sir, for giving me opportunity uh, to presenting our project. First I am telling one of the most important things of digital electronics is digital counter. Dig digital counters offers a simple way to keep uh, track of timing. By easy digital counter we are built 4 bit binary counter. It means I can count in binary 0000, 0, 0, 0 up to on 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 on. 
if you remember binary system it's 0 to uh, 0 to 15 a counter system typically doesn't require any input to other than a other than a clock input when clock changes logic 0 to logic on um, logic on count value will be changes uh, ch changes if uh, count value is 0 on on it's it will be changes 0 on 0 0 in this real world we use it stop was vga video card and uh, and marriage and uh, party uh, party um, party co controller light controller thanks for watching the video and thank you to akram sir for give us the opportunity to do this do this project it helps us a lot uh, thank you again so i am part of the project Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.